Pino Black, folks. And here we go with uh, showing you the latest, January 7th. That time. Let's scroll down here and see what we got. And a thousand percent on some solar blast that we seen earlier. Moved out. And then we see what I was wondering about and check the big old brick. The super giants. That is right there, ladies and gentlemen. It is there. Not superimposed or nothing. Here's our object that I was also looking at of the magnetical of some planets. It's not no satellites up there, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Uh, the only way that that can end up being a satellite is if they admit that it's the same technology that they got going around uh, the moon that is hiding behind, I believe it is Mercury. That is getting shaded by there's a satellite if you go to solar. I've showed you in the past here. And an interesting triangulation down here also. And also, that is still going to go up through this. And you can see this would be like the size of Venus or something. Or much, much larger. And even Venus or Mars. There's all kinds of planets, folks. The sun isn't the super giant's getting its ass kicked. Check these planets out here on the back side of the planet. This is the arm. But these planets are actually there. Okay? Right behind the sun. I got pictures of showing that in there, but this thing is going to I got to snap a shot right now. Put the screen on. Bingo. Got that one. That is something else. Humongous brick or triangle in space with a planet on top of it. So, the super giants are humongous, and who knows what is broken up over the years that's not round, because you can tell that that's not round. Now, what there is is really interesting all over those planets. You can see them, okay? But there's a really interesting one lined up in a row up here on top. What the heck are they at? Couldn't miss them earlier. Check that out. And I've seen this stuff before, too. And not just the exact same one. There's all kinds of them. Huge, dark planets. Bam, 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 bam. Trippy or what? This is the Navy Tonight shot. And basically, I'll cruise back down through here. That's the crazy stuff we saw there. And even that is wild. Look in there. And this stuff is all out there. It's the Navy back behind. Basically, your last code 3 that you see. So, code 3 that you see. So, all this stuff's up there. Huge stuff. Way more than. What we know of. And we know Jupiter's humongous, and the sun is like 11 times. It's actually 10 point something, but 11 times the size. Uh, so there's your shot. There's the sun. There's the sea. And you blast it was coming off. You can't miss that object. It's huge. That's behind the sun, and we know that Earth is over here somewhere. Okay? Because if we roll in the darkness on one side, and we rolled the daylight in the east rotation, and then we have all the objects coming up below us on the uh, south pole. Let me go to the pictures and explain some of that. And we're going to give you the information on impact craters on Earth. Absolutely, thousand percent known craters on Earth from impacts. Okay, we read crater. This one. This one. And this is just an elevation map of this one up here. And then this one. So there's one, two, three, four. Confirmed no matter what. No arguments. Impact craters on Earth. Let's give you the info on it. The mileage. 60 miles one direction, 60 miles the other direction. Elevation. 3 miles in tension to put it in Earth. Okay. So no matter what, the object was at least three miles. Okay, that hit, and there's the technical one. Uh, I think this is the South African one. That was the one in Canada. It has the name of it. I'm not going to read off all the information, but you get the elevation of how big the object was. And, well, and when I also go to that, it'll tell you how many years ago it happened. Now this is the one crater. This is the other crater. 145 million years ago, 
202 billion years ago. Okay. He also had the information on when the Canada one hit. Okay. This is an American one. 600 million years ago it hit. Okay. And if you believe I have the info on it right behind it, that's the crater. Two miles in depth, or actually a little bit more than two miles. The face of whatever hit the Earth. Okay. 30 miles on one side, 30 miles on the other side. There's the two spots on the one that hit in South Africa, those two that I showed you earlier. So you can just click back and forth and go through this. I don't even know if I really got a good job of keeping it in order. I don't really, but just showing you pictures real fast of the data. That's how long ago it happened. That's what happened in South Africa, two spots down there. So you basically have some of a path, okay, from the one here in Texas that hit. Okay, and it hit, uh, that's the time since formation of Earth and so forth. That's the one that hit up in Canada. Okay, and I may have left some info out on that, but those are the one, two, Actually, I'm missing some information on it. So the sun is in the supergiants get is ass kicked or kicking the supergiants ass, which I doubt it because they're four to seventy eight times the size of the sun and we have this stuff in there. So this was caught up there today. Okay, I showed you the data earlier and I'm just zooming in on it. And you can see it there. It's actually gonna stay in so you get a good side of it. It's not round folks. Damn brick. Up behind the sun, folks. Yeah, they're giving me glitch action. Windows, it's windows for a reason. They can see and they can hear as soon as I start recording. They can hear what I, you know, what I'm going to record. Show. It's called supervisory control and data acquisition. You can always lively look at our location. So there you go. Yeah, they don't like that. Well, it's the truth. Quit messing with me then, and it's not going to make me crazy. I know. And first off, they they got to come out and go, who is this guy? But we'll drag him out in public. It's not going to happen. So, the truth will keep on breathing. Breathing. Okay. So, this stuff all happened up there today, and that was that object there that we had zoomed in on. And actually, we can just go ahead and zoom in on it again so you know that I'm not playing with you, and this is going to be the same damn object. As we move away from the sun, I apologize about that. And there's that object. Okay. And there is this other object up here on the arm. You can't miss it. And actually, now that I've blown up so crazy, there you go. There is something, a big, huge planet with a bunch of moons behind it, behind the sun. You can't miss it. It's right there. That dark area right there on the arm. Because they, be, they can actually x-ray also. So no matter what, there's a planet right there and another brick right there on the back of the arm. And it sure looks like a brick with a bunch of planets and moons running around it and also that I've seen before also on the back of the arm there also and they can adjust the arm to block a bunch of the viewing of this stuff out. That stuff's hitting the sun right there. And I'll zoom back in on that stuff. That stuff is actually there. Okay. That stuff is there. This is here. This brick is here. But somebody's got a huge house the size of about five uh, or at least two Jupiter sitting right there, or at least one Jupiter right there, and that's not Jupiter behind the sun, folks. So they position the arm to be able to try to block stuff. So, I do believe in recording, and uh, let's move along to the other picture. Keep popping these, that's what we will be blowing in on. Now, uh, we did find the meatball again, and I'll blow in on this, and you can see it at 300%. I took a shot. I showed you the video earlier, and there it is right there. Okay. Now, I'm not positive that's Jupiter up there or not, okay, because I can't slide on this picture. So, that was the flame burst earlier that I showed you. Okay, and then we got the super, super meatball right there. A nice, smooth curve, and it's way the hell back behind all the super giants. Okay, and more than likely, I think it's that huge object that I was looking for the name of it again, and you can go back about a dozen videos of mine, and I have it in one of them. 
they have the information and it's on Wikipedia. If something it was one of my fans give me the name of it back to save me time looking for it so I can keep on looking into the future, basically not looking into the future, but looking at the stuff that we get from outer space fresh and then give me that information on that. And take a little drink of Iser, and then uh, we'll get that out. So basically, that is the meatball right there. You can't miss the line right here. You can see a nice smooth going of it. It's huge, and we'll probably see it come back out again. Okay, and then you've seen what we've seen at uh, Hawaii. You believe some dipshit actually uh, saying uh, it's the moon? No, it's not. <laughs> All right, so there's Jupiter there. In that shot, and then I was like, "What was I going to want to say? I'll show you." On that. And there's the object too, in the in a triangulation of these huge planets and a huge moon or something dark right there on top of that one, and also right there and here and here is another one. And through that, we'll just hit the deal and zoom in on it. And seeing that earlier, this was from the earlier one when we showed you the CME. You can't miss that huge planet right there. Oh, it's the size of Mars. The size of Mars, or is it or the size of Venus, and it's not them. Absolutely not them. Okay, and that's pretty much directly below or in front, below and in front of the sun. Or if our eyes are playing tricks, it's behind, but it looks like it's forward. And as they're blinking in, they don't like me showing the truth of all the stuff that's out there. And you can see this stuff even more too there. As I can blow in a little bit more, and you can see that planet that I was seeing earlier right there. You can't miss it. All these planets. Kind of blurred in that a little bit. So, this stuff's all there, and then we have this, and I'm wanting to blow in on this, because this is what we have that object there. Egg Biden. No, it's not no damn satellite up there. Those are huge ass planets. Those planets are like the size of Mercury or, or Venus, or hell, even possibly Jupiter. And I'll pick it in a little bit more than I can. And then start blaring. That's that huge, and it has some huge magnification. It's like something's drawing electrical from it to it. And basically, to prove that is the satellite. We know that they'd magnify those satellites together, so there's that shot. And there's this dark hole. Check this out. I have a shot where I zoom in on it. And basically, that's a big old gap. Or there's a planet right here because it's shading this right here from all the CME action from the sun and the super. It's right there. It darkens it right there. And that was the flare off Venus. Okay. I.e. the flare off Venus. The flare off Venus. There's a good close up of Venus. And I think I can have a better close up of Venus. There's a good close up of Venus. That's all the same shot where it came the flare off of there. Okay. So it's not no damn camera flare. Okay. And there's I've zoomed in on that hole. And then let's zoom in on that. Because basically it's a darkness from that planet in front of the supergiants and the sun. There is a gateway to deep dark something, which is more than likely that dark spot that we always see on the other uh, H1 shots. If I can hurry up and get to that, basically it's the deep dark hole gap of this dark belt there, deep dark space. Okay, sun's always in there. You see your planets, Venus, Earth, Mars, and Venus is looking real big right now because it's close on the satellites. And then we had. Zoom in on Lovejoy here. Well, actually, it's going to miss Lovejoy, but I had a real good shot in the last movie. So, you can see that, and there's Earth, and then we can zoom in way big, see if we can get in close on that there. Okay, and then I'll go to the next one. Yeah, they don't like this. Showing you space and knowing exactly what the hell the stuff is. So, keep track of the video, folks. Here's the data on the Canadian one. It was a 60 mile too, so basically this is the same object that comes around and does this crater all the time. The crater's down in Africa and the crater's in Canada. Data, truth, and facts. The scientists have all researched and known this and they don't argue about it. Okay, that's the one that's up in Canada. 1.85 billion years ago. So then you can do the math and figure out. And this is the two in, in, in Africa. Both of these shots. Okay. Alright. So, and then there's the one up there. Beaverhead. That's how long ago it happened, and that was a track on that one. So, stuff's out there. I don't think anything's going to hit. I think we should be fine, but then, I don't know. They ask the lies to us a lot, don't they? And we've seen what we've seen in Hawaii. So, and I didn't hit that. So.